Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to use the new leaf overlay set from the Cozy Clicks collection. Now, these are overlays, they are not Photoshop actions, so they will not load up into your action panel. They will actually be files that are placed directly over your image. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just a minute. But before I do, I would love to connect with you. I would love to know where you're watching from. Leave me a comment below and let me know. And let me know if it's fall where you're at right now. I know for me here in Arizona, even though it's close to autumn, it still feels so hot like summer. So I welcome these autumn themed Photoshop resources so I can recreate that autumn feel. All right, let's get started with this picture here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to File and then choose Place Embedded. Now it might say Place on your version of Photoshop depending on which version you're using. You're going to click that and you're going to find the file where your leaf overlays are located. Now these are all of the ones that are inside the Cozy Clicks Leaf Overlay set. I'm going to choose one that I think will frame my subject. So I'm going to start with the leaf overlay number 23. And I'm just going to double click that. And you see it goes right on top of my image. Now if I want to make it smaller or bigger, all I have to do is go to the corners and drag my image to where I want it to be. I can even move it up or down to get it to the spot where I'd like it to be on my photo. When it's in the spot you want it, just double click. And if you look over here in the Layers panel, you'll see the Leaf Overlay number 23 is right there. Now the cool thing about these overlays is you can stack them on top of each other, so you can give more depth of field to your image. So let's add one more Leaf Overlay to this picture here. I'm going to go back up to File again, Place Embed, and I'm going to choose one that has a little bit bigger leaves this time so they stick out in the foreground of my image. So I'm going to pick Leaf Overlay 18. And I'm going to double click that right here. Once again, I'm just going to drag these corners and move it to resize that overlay and place it where I want it to be in my picture. And double click. And you'll see again in my Layers panel, there's my 23 and there's my Overlay 18. Now I want to make these blend into my photo more and look more realistic. So I'm going to show you a few different things that you can do and you can do these with any of the overlays in any image. So I'm going to show you a couple different options and you choose the one that's right for you and your picture. I'm going to start with this one, 23, the one that we did first. So I'm just going to turn the second one off so you can see directly with these leaves here. Now one thing that you could do is you could go up to Filter, Blur, and just put a slight Gaussian Blur on it. Now the higher the radius, the blurrier your leaves are going to be. So if they're way in the background or in the foreground, you might want them blurry. Here I don't. I'm just going to put a slight blur so it seems to connect more with the blurriness of that background. Maybe a radius of 5 pixels, I'm thinking. And click OK. So that's one way that you can help blend those leaves into the back background is by putting a Gaussian Blur. Another way is by putting on a Motion Blur. So let's go up to Filter, Blur, and this time I'm going to choose Motion Blur. Now here you can create the illusion that the leaves are actually falling. So we're going to create motion that goes from the top to the bottom or slightly diagonal. The direction you want the leaves to fall is going to be determined by this circle that's right here. If you want them to fall straight down and have that motion, you just place it going straight up and down. If you'd like it on somewhat of a diagonal, you just place this circle and that line right there to the angle where you would like it to be. And then you're just going to pull the number of pixels to create that blurriness and that motion of the leaves actually falling. Again, I'm just going to make this real slight on this one here and click OK. So on that overlay, I use the Gaussian Blur and the Motion Blur. Now on the other overlay that we placed on top, the Overlay 18, I'm going to turn that one back on. I'm going to click on it in my Layers panel to make sure that that is the one I'm working with. I'm going to create a radial blur so it looks like the leaves are blowing all the way around her. 
So what I'm gonna do is go to Filter, Blur, and this time I'm gonna go to Radial Blur. And you'll see here you can choose Spin or Zoom. I would choose Spin so it looks like the leaves are spinning right around her. Now the thing about the Radial Blur is if you go too much, it looks very radial, I guess, very spinny. So I would say your amount should be set anywhere between one and three, and that's really gonna depend on your picture. But for this one, I'm gonna choose two and click OK. And you can see that that swirls around those leaves in the front. Now, you could leave your leaf overlays just like that in your image, especially if you live in a spot where there's already very autumned toned leaves and backgrounds, it's probably going to blend nicely. But if you're in a place like me where there's a lot of greens, like in this picture, you can easily add on a Photoshop action to tone your image to a more autumn toned. So I'm gonna pull up the Cozy Clicks Autumn Inspired Actions, and if you have any autumn inspired actions you can play those after you add on the leaf overlays and that's really going to help connect the colors and tones and blend those leaves to the image so i'm going to run the oak tree i think i'm going to play that one first and you can see that's going to run in my action panel and that i think looks really nice i might click on that layer mask and just very gently brush it off of her I can choose a few of the different ones if I really wanted to make it more autumn themed, maybe the pecan pie. So I'm gonna run that one and you'll see it come up right into that panel. Again, I'm just gonna slightly brush that, those autumn tones off her. And now I could keep playing, I could keep stacking on different autumn toned actions, either the Cozy Click set or a different one that you have. And you can create cohesiveness between the leaves and the background. But you can see here is the before image and here is our after with our leaf overlays and with those autumn themed actions on top of that. So that's how to do it, you guys. That's how to add on those leaf overlays. And you can do this with any type of photo. You can add in any of the leaf overlays. You can stack them on top of each other, blur them with the Gaussian blur, with the motion blur, or with the radial blur to get the look that you want. And you guys can check these out in the description below or just by going to cozyclicks.com forward slash Photoshop actions. I'll see you guys next time with some new tutorials. Enjoy.